hello guys welcome to tech marvel so in this video we will check out how to remove a malware from your wordpress so whenever the uh, wordpress gets a uh, infected file so that slow down our computer and also it will affect entire of our wordpress file so it's very easy to tackle this problem so once you get to know that there is a word uh, your wordpress has been affected with a virus so you have to go to the uh, your plugin so if you have an access to of your wordpress admin first you have to go to the wordpress admin and immediately you have to uninstall your all the plugins okay so you have to uninstall your all the plugin and then after you have to delete the themes uh, themes which files which is not required for your wordpress immediately okay so later on you have to request to your uh, hosting host uh, host provider to scan your uh, file manager okay that's there in the control panel so once you do this uh, scanning of your file manager so once you see this here is a, a scan report of my website i'll show you here yeah so this is the which has been scanned by the host uh, provider so this these are the files which has been affected by the virus as I can see there is a lot of virus has been in, in injected to the files okay so don't worry how to tackle this problem we will check it in this video as you can see there is an infected files of 28 okay so first step as I said that is a once you get to know there is a WordPress problem so immediately you just uninstall all the plugins and delete the themes which has been not required so some people keep the themes which is um, more than uh, enough themes like one two three they will put some five or six themes so don't do it it's not recommended you just have the themes which is required for you and one basic theme and another is a supported theme okay so what you have to do first you have to request to the support for your scan of your cpanel file manager then you will get to know the notified of your all the affected files then check each of the files and open it okay so you have to go to this files there's all your home directory files as you can see there is a home directory file so these are the files which has been affected so i'll just go and troubleshoot single files in everywhere wherever it is there so i just go to this wp blogger uh, basically i have been uh, troubleshoot this already but again i'll see there is any files which has been enabled with a virus okay so very easy to detect these files are dtls dot in okay wp blog header i take from here this one wp blog header so it's showing that php file hackers on official font so i'll go to this uh, wp block header then i'll open this in the edit form and here you can see this is the file which has been injected to this file injected the virus of virus to this file so easily we don't get to know that this has been affected like you can see this is actually the hidden one if i just put a view for this wp blogger header so if i put just a view so you can't find this uh, the codes here so what you have to do you have to open this in the edit form once you do the edit then only you can come to know these are the files which has been affected and this the codes what you see is an error is completely a virus as kind of things which has been changed in your codes and this is what tro uh, troubling your website so you have to remove this okay so to know that what type of the codes has been injected for that you have to install one uh, plugin that is a word fence plugin you have to go to the plugin and add new here wordpress uh, word fence word fence plugin okay so this is a word fence uh, plugin you just have to install and activate this word fence plugin so once you go here see uh, in this multi domain hosting of my uh, uh, cpanel so i have around nearly four websites in that four website all the website has been affected 
so in that one i'm just scanning of each of the website and i already removed uh, almost all the virus on virus on that and this is also one of the website which has been affected that is the one of the websites over here that i am just uh, showing you and the previous which i have shown you that is also one of the website but uh, the whatever i am showing you that's i am already have been changed the coding so whichever was not changed that i shown here shown here the wp blog header okay so once you do this wordfence uh, security firewall scan so you will land to this page so you can go here manage scan and thereafter there is a limited scan standard scan high sensitivity and custom scan so you have to tick this all the informations all the ticks here and performance options and there is a high sensitivity so you have to go and save this so it's already saved then i will come back here to the scan and this is all done if i hit this start scan okay i already scanned this all the files okay so if i do the all the scanning it will show me like this here you can see uh, it's re-updating back again as i told you that it is already scanned okay some files are here which i am doing the troubleshoot onto these files so okay so now this is the first file it's already shown here uh, the first file details you can see uh, this is a WP content plugin WP lazy load WP lazy load uh, there is a f one of the issue has found and that is a virus and what it is shown that the mass text file is the codes which has been injected here that we have to analyze whether this codes has been damaging or what okay if I see this uh, we could not open this requested file because they already deleted these files okay and moreover i removed this wp lazy load plugin also which was been affected to my website okay the scan is going on here okay so scan is going on so before that we will go to again onto this our page let it scan so we will come back to that scan report see there is also one of the index file also has been reported in the scan uh, as you can see there is an nsrids org dot index file php okay so i'll just go to this nsrids very simple to remove this all the virus here so you just go to the index file here just go to the edit again you can see there is also a lot of codes has been injected so how do you know that these codes are irrelevant for your coding of your uh, that uh, file okay there is a one website called wordpress uh, wordpress github you go to the google you just type wordpress github wordpress github is in a community where a lot of uh, contributor is been uh, like you know updating the information about the wordpress and the standard format of your files where you can go and cross check your all the files whether it is a right or wrong files okay so if i am going to the index file so how much it is there actually this is this much was been index file and this also small code was an index file so if i type here go to file and if i type index php as i can see this much was the code only this much okay so what they have done it they have added this over here wp blogger header everything was been added and we have to remove this okay so before you doing this take a backup of your website don't go on to the uh, all editing in immediately how to take a backup you just have to go to the dot nsds org select all okay select all and you can download it or you can take the backup directly over there in your uh, cpanel so there is also you can download it okay so you can get the backup of the file or if you want to take an entire uh, cpanel uh, your account backup that also you can take it as i have taken this entire cpanel account backup 
as you can see there is a here is a backup of my all the files so these are all the entire files of the backup so wherever the problem occurs if my sites has been down so what I will do is I just go and check that uh, uh, files and I will just reinstall that all the plugins okay uh, not the plugin that uh, backup file of the domain okay so here is a home directory so here is I can see this is the domain this also domain and uh, this also domain so this all the backups which I have been used and this backups I will use it if my files uh, get into the problem okay so hope you understood on to this uh, let's see that's the scan is completed okay scan is still is going on okay so this is I'm showing you the previous file which I have been already done the scanning uh, here WP include capa capabilities okay so this is a core file which will not able to delete this file so what we can do is here is the best option in WordPress you can see the view difference you click this view difference so it will show you over here okay so what it will show on this 811 and 812 lines that is 813 which has been injected one file that is a HTTP one code has been injected here so we have to track this code where it is been injected and we have to check this code so where it is WP includes WP includes WP includes then WP includes and capabilities and WP include capabilities yeah it is a capability as I told you in the view it will be hidden and edit you should have to go to the edit okay so here you can see this all the files over here okay and what they said is uh, at evil at evil I'll copy this and I will find out I'll find out here yeah this is the code which has been injected here that we have to check okay so WP roles has been uh, written to onto this then we have to remove it this file okay that is a 813 as you can see there is an 813 files modified version on your WordPress system that is a at server HTTP it has been added in this so what I will do I just go here and delete this file okay then I'll put it saving so I already now it has been saved so this file has been changed now okay so this is the one method where you can do it okay so one more method is like you download your all the files just download to your uh, local disk your desktop and then after use your antivirus like suppose this is the one which I have been downloaded I just put it for the antivirus of this so best antivirus you can get it here the scan with calm win free antivirus it is you just go to the google and uh, it's a really good uh, antivirus which will remove your virus from your files calm win antivirus okay this is a freeware antivirus which you can download it here you can go released and download and this is download once you download so thereafter you can install it and scan your file this is the second option okay the, this is would be you can take it as a prime option for this because first you scan your all the files and re-upload re to your cpanel okay first you re-upload to your cpanel here that whatever these files are there uh, just re-upload this cpanel, uh, cpanel then after you ask your host supporter to scan your files again of your all the control panel okay then you check the scan and if it is still detects a uh, scan reports uh, like this then you follow the steps as I told you if you have allowed to go to your WordPress admin uh, section 
just go to there and just install this wordfence uh, plugin and scan your all the reports of this and each of the after the scanning of each of the file you can inspect like this okay so you can inspect like this and you see here file type what type of the file it is it is a core theme or plugin file okay so some files i have been deleted because if it is a from the word plugin file so i can reinstall the plugin and remove the plugin so which is not required for me for the theme section and function section so i am not deleted any files i just repaired it as you can see there is a course it's showing here i have not deleted this because i have to check the all the files with a errors if that error is still been available then i will put the original file then again i will re-update the files okay so that's it for now here this is how you have to do it okay so so we will just summarize here here in this so first you have to support you have to ask for the scanning then uh, if you have access to the wordpress admin then great plugin install wordpress scan it for your required uh, requirement then start check the files so all the files you should remove it and uh, also you can compare your codings with the github here the github is here so like that you can do it and we'll check it one more file here WP content WP blogger header we will check this DTLS dot in okay blog header as you can see there is also files has been injected in this so what i will do is i just take this wp blog header on github as you can see only the code is this much from line 1 to line 21 so in this one what is shown here line 1 to it is again it has been added a lot of codes here so that I have to delete it I have to delete this all the files then save changes okay so these two files have been removed now so as you can see WP blog header this file is completed and if you take to the index file this also completed so each of these files are already completed so each one by one i am just checking out wherever the files are there so i am just deleted and rest of the files i am keeping it back okay so it's so simple it is now you just do it yourself and if you have any problem then you let me know in the comments below thanks for watching